with Misty. She came in last week for her first vaccination, and I also mentioned I wanted to get her um, fixed up and desexed. Um, on her examination, I actually could feel that she was really slightly pregnant. I think there's probably two or three little kittens, uh, not very big, but in, inside there. So she's booked in today to be um, desexed. So the thing with uh, cats is they do um, breed almost a bit like rabbits, I find. Um, they come on heat uh, usually through the warmer months, so around now um, they will usually be pregnant. So already we're at the end of October, um, she's early pregnant, so she will probably um, have them in about six weeks if we let her. Um, so that means that they're going to be nice and ready for Christmas, so that's why everyone gets kittens for Christmas. And then we'll come on heat again and be ready to be um, pregnant again. So the way cats actually uh, replicate is they actually come on heat for a week and then they, if no toms around to make them, they will go off heat for about a week and then they'll come back on again. So they'll be on and off heat every week and it's actually the act of mating that stimulates the cat to ovulate. So as the, as the boy cat um, comes out, the barbs on his wee penis actually stimulate her to um, ovulate. So that's why cats are often pregnant if they're not fixed up. Um, so it's really important to get them done early. So we, um, we're going to do her today and then they won't have any more problems. So we're with Misty again and she's had a wee operation today and she's also had a wee bit of pain relief so she's feeling a bit happier and cuddlier, aren't you? Um, so we took three kittens out of her, but I was just going to show you her wee suture wound. So we just um, take uh, a wee hole to get them out. Actually it was a bit bigger because it was um, uh, the pregnancy. But usually it's just a small hole and she has some stitches and so in 10 days time we will um, take those out and then she can forget about it and carry on living a happy little life. So if left uh, not desexed, they will keep breeding and produce lots of kittens, especially over the summertime, but they can keep breeding even into winter at some stages. Depends now with global warming, we might even get an extra set of kittens um, in a year. So the responsible thing is to get them fixed up. So if you want to have kittens, uh, then that's fine. Just be prepared in case that doesn't all go um, smoothly and they need cesareans. And remember you have to uh, find responsible um, owners for them too uh, and we don't like kittens being dumped and that sort of thing we hear too many stories and it's just not on so um, if you want a litter let them have a litter but then get them fixed up otherwise the cycle will just keep going and going right so hang around and I'll uh, show you what we found okay so for those of you that don't want to see what I found today then please turn off now Otherwise, I'll let you have a wee sneak peek at what we found with the wee baby kittens. So here is actually the uterus that I took out. You can actually see this is the ovary. She's actually got a wee cyst on her ovary there. This is one kitten that's in the uterus. And then it comes down to the other side of the uterus. So we've opened up this now. And here's one kitten. So this is actually an internal sac. And you can actually see the wee kitten there with its feet and its little head and even eyes up there. Yep, so really quite amazing. So this kitten would only be probably about an inch and a half or so long. So not very old at all. And then here we actually managed to get out um, the third kitten complete in its external sac as well. So this here is actually the placenta that attaches directly onto the inside of the uterus and that's where the nutrition comes from and that supplies the kitten so we've actually quite lucky to see that that's really amazing so that external sac is uh, full of fluid and then inside of course you've got the smaller sac again with fluid and the wee kitten there so nature is just amazing and that's why i love my job this is three less kittens we need to worry about and find homes for. Um, the owners were quite happy to um, have her desexed and because they're only young, they're not going to feel or know, know anything. So they're better off um, just taken out and she doesn't have to worry about the risk of 
uh, not being able to deliver them properly, any cesareans or even trying to find homes for, for kittens.